welcome to Live Long in Color. I want to thank everyone for stopping by and joining me today. Today's video is all of my completed pages for the month of March 2022. But before I get started, I would love to thank everyone who has subscribed to my channel, liked and commented on my videos. You're all so greatly appreciated. Thank you so, so much. I don't know about you, but I cannot believe that it is April already when I'm filming this. Um, we have completed the first quarter of the year. Spring is officially here in the U.S., which makes me happy because this is my favorite season to color. So all in all, it's it's been pretty good. Um, before I get to, into the coloring pictures that I have to show, um, let's go into, into the statistics. I have completed 16 books. Uh, nine of them are physical books, seven of them are PDF books, and out of those 16, seven of them are out of my 10 books to finish, so that's pretty good. I have done 24 um, physical pages from physical books, 49 PDFs, and that adds up to 73 pages for the month. And out of those 73 pages, 47 pages were out of my 10 books to finish. So I had a pretty good month last month, all in all. Um, let's get into the 10 books to finish first. I have 100, let me kind of, here we go. Sorry about that. 100 Magnificent Mandalas. This was part of my March Mandala Madness where I wanted to do 31 pages in 31 days. I actually completed the goal with 32 pages, so I did one extra, which is great. Um, I did them all early. So yeah, I had a lot of fun doing this. I did not get bored. In fact, I really had to stop myself to doing from doing any more because I could have continued, but I didn't want to sit here at the end of the month and just have all mandalas, so I forced myself to stop. But all in all, I had a great time. I did a couple of speed colors for the for my first ones, and I had a lot of fun doing those. I think this is one of the ones I did on speed color. I'm not sure, but yeah. Um, I used just various different brands of gel pens, um, a and Arts, uh, Teo Tree, Cali Art, um, Tan Mint, Rayon, I think that was it. There might have been a couple more, but that's the main ones I used. On this one, I took the circle, the blank circle in the middle, and I finished it with the washi tape that I used for the border, which I really liked the way that came out. Um, I pretty much used the system that I always use for picking colors, which is pretty random. I just go down the line in my in my uh, carriers that I have for the pens. This is These types are the only exception to that. I did not do that here. I kind of just figured out what colors I wanted to use and went from there. Um, here's another one that I used washi tape in the middle. It's a little bike with, a bo with the um, basket on it. I like this one because it was one large piece of washi so I didn't have to like trim it. I just had to trim it. It, it worked out pretty good. I'm going to try to flip through these relatively quickly. I like the way this one looks with the washi tape. These are the ones I do with a and Arts. You can tell those because all the colors are um, together, so they end up more monochromatic than the rest of them. And this one I used um, neon and pastels, which I don't use very often. This is my favorite one of the month. I just think it looks so light and lacy. I really like the way that came out. This was my least favorite that I did in the month because oh, I just felt so tedious. I just started using the same color over and over just to get it done because I was, I was done. Uh, 
This one I used some metallic gel pen, the Uniball Signal, for like, I thought these looked like gears, so I did them in gold. I thought that came out pretty good. This one looks like a cross between Christmas and, and Valentine's Day. I also used the metallic here. I don't know if you can see the different colors of metallic that I used on this one. Like the way that came out. Another neon that I used. This one was, um, with, with the exception of this, the, the leaves, the rest of it was metallic. Um, so I like that. More neon. I like this one with the blues. This one, I like it, but I'm just not a big fan of these, like, they look kind of dull, the colors to me, but I, I don't mind the way it came out. And this is the last one that I did. So there we go. Those are all of the 32 mandalas that I did for the month. Next, I have a couple of pages that I did here in Cactus and Succulents by Color Questopia. I used um, twistables for all the coloring and just, you know, a, either a Sharpie or one of the permanent markers that I had in black for this. I don't remember which one. And the same thing for this. Next, we have, um, next we have Dragon Fantasy by Color Questopia. I did four pictures in here. I did all the dragons with the twistables and all the background with crayons. I'm really enjoying this. I like the way the dragons look. So that's that. Next is Disney Love Stories by Hatchet Heroes. I did one picture in this. I did the, this one, the cars picture. Um, I used the dot method for the picture and the X method for the background. And um, yeah, I don't think it worked that well. This car right here, you can barely see, and you can barely see Lightning Queen, so I don't know if it was the best best method to use here, but it was fun, so I enjoyed it. That is Disney Love Stories. Next is God and Goddesses by Ava Brown. First off is Hestia. I used Copic Sharpies Ohuhu Glitter and jot glitter gel pens for this. Um, I used the dot method here where I just made little dots. My thought was that I would make it look like marble. Um, I thought it was more successful than my husband thought it. So if you think I achieved what I was looking for, let me know in the comments below. If you don't, then also let me know and uh, you can break the tie between my husband and I on what you think about that. And then I did Icarus here. Um, I used Ohuhu gel pens and Copics. Mainly I did him in the Copics. I did the wings and the glitter gel pens and the nameplate. And then the background, the sun, the sky, the clouds, all of that I used with uh, confetti crayons and I really like the way the sun come out the confetti uh, crayon that I used had a lot a little bit of orange and red in it and so it kind of looked I, I just love the way that came out then we have party patterns by the Belba family I did the baby born party because both of my sons were born in the month of March I use Cali art water-based gel pens for both of the for all of these X method for the background and dot method for the patterns 
this is my son's party and I did the Brazil Carnival because it happens in March I think is what I looked up so that's when I did it oh, it might be February March time frame I'm not sure but I went ahead and did it in March that was it for that and this is the last one of my 10 books to finish a year in flowers I love daffodil so this was my favorite month to do so far on this first one I used gold faber um, and gel pens on that this one I'm pretty sure I used um, Crayola pencils which honestly on this paper I think they look really nice I really like the way this came out eyeshadow background and sparkle pops for the but for the butterfly which I love the way he that came out too really shiny and pretty and then this one I used Prismacolor pencils and um, eyeshadow for the middle here now these flowers are called let's look here what does it say it was daffodils jonquils and narcissus narcissi and I th I'm not sure maybe I'm wrong I was thinking these are supposed to be all white and if they were I just colored them with yellow or maybe they were supposed to look like daffodils I'm not sure but that's how I colored them anyways I like the way it came out it's pretty next we're going to the non 10 books to finish this was a hundred easy designs by a coloring book cafe I did this picture I used crazy art crayons on it and I outlined in pencil but I'm not sure did I write down I did not write down so that's what I used on here I made these look like little bluebirds and then I did this one I used my leftovers that I had on my set of crazy art super tips and I outlined it with um, Prismacolor pencils so and on the background I used eyeshadow on that next is a new book that I just bought um, last month it is adult coloring book by Demita Victoria 100 easy spring I did this cute little cat I did it with um, polychromos sparkle pops and the background is and the and the grass is confetti crayons so and this little butterfly is the uh, sparkle I don't know if you can see how it little sparkles I'm really enjoying this book I did a few more um, already this month which will come out in my next month's completed pages then we have cute and magical coloring book by Alexandra Frances I just did the title page the background is eyeshadow and I just use various permanent markers for the unicorn I did use some glitter gel pen I think it was uh, this is definitely I think what did I write I didn't write down any of it so I don't remember <laughs> but uh, yeah I definitely used some glitter on that then we have easy coloring book by Jade Summer this is the one that was done by Joshua Dunbar I did this one with crayons and outlined it with Prismacolor Just so pretty springy this one I did with permanent markers and the background was done with oil pastels and I took the ice and gave it a little bit of sparkle originally 
I was going to make this into lemonade, but I was using up an old set and didn't have any yellow, so I made it like an orange aid. That's what I'm saying it is. This one I did when I bought my uh, Paul Rubens oil pastels. I outlined it with Arteza and I used a char chalk background. So I used the Paul Rubens for the back for the majority of it and then just outlined it a little bit. The same thing with this one. Everything was done with the Paul Rubens oil pastels. The background was eyeshadow and I outlined it with gold faber pencils. That's that. This one I did with just various markers and glitter gel pens. Um, I don't remember exactly which glitter gel pens I used, but that was that. And then come to a couple of my favorite pictures that I did. I did this one, this beautiful turtle. I did with oil pastels. I used Aquarelles, Crayola, Faber-Castell, Gold Faber. And then I outlined it and color it and did a couple of the bubbles with the uh, sparkle pops. Just love the way this turtle came out. And my favorite page out of here, I did this mallard duck. I am in love with how he came out. I used, let's see, Aquarelle. Pantel oil pastels and I outlined it with polychromos and used a little white glitter a white probably the um, Posca pens to do the little waves But I love how the duck came out and I think the background what did I use for the background? Oil pastel for the background But I just love the way he came out. I thought he came out very good and then this little fishy here I did with the Paul Rubens Prismacolor pencils, eyeshadow background, and uh, sparkle pops. No, I take it back. Oh, hoo hoo. This is the oh hoo, -hoo but it's iridescent, just like the sparkle pops, which made me kick it confused there for a second. So that was Easy Coloring by Jade Summer. Then we have Fantasy by Ava Brown. I did this unicorn. I did a, quite a few things with oil pastels. Now, what I wanted to do here was practice using oil pastels with the darker colors. Because usually when I use this blue, I have a tendency to get it everywhere. And then I have to find something to cover it up. But I actually did a fairly good job. I did get out of the lines a, a few places. But for the most part, I think it came out pretty good. I used Crayola, Afira, Aquarelle for the oil pastels, and um, Crayola crayons just to highlight a little bit, and some glitter gel pens to do like the wings and the um, hair. I didn't write it down, but I do think. It might have been the Ohuhus. It was either Ohuhus or the Sparkle Pops. I really can't tell. And I didn't write it down. Then we have Grains of Gold by Hannah Carlson. Um, I really enjoyed coloring this more than I thought I would. Um, I don't do anything fancy. I'm just, like I said, always been saying I'm a straight colorist, but I still like the way these came out. <clears throat> I'm trying to remember what I used because I don't have it here. I used the same pencils for all of it. I want to say polychromos. And... I just did a little bit of the eyeshadow for the background. I used various kinds of glitter gel pen and metallics for the um, key in the in the jewelry. I did this little flower here. 
same. This uh, nameplate page, I pretty much did it the same. I used metallic, I think on the on the little frame. And then I did these two. I did her. I'm pretty sure I used the Jot glitter gel pens for all of it. The one from Dollar Tree. I really love the way these came out. Now, I did her hair. I tried to do highlights. I, I no. But him, I do my other method where I just color each strand or a couple of strands different shades of the same color and I like the way that came out better but all in all I really love how both of the all of these pictures came out <clears throat> I just used some eyeshadow here and there I didn't do a whole background but I still love the way they came out okay so I paused the video for a moment I wanted to look it up because it was bothering me what I used and it was polychromos and the eyeshadow was here and for the skin I used um, Crayola color of the world just I think the very you know one of the medium almond shades very light um, so yeah, that was the Hannah Carlson. I had a lot of fun. Surprisingly, I wasn't sure I was gonna like coloring in this, but I really did. And I plan to color more in the future. Then we have Kawaii Girls by Jade Summer. Now for this, I was practicing doing various types of skin with pencil. I'm not very good at coloring skin with pencil and so I wanted to see uh, you know using various different techniques this one I did very very little shading on it as far as the skin um, I used color a colored pencils and I used a hoo hoo and sparkle pop glitter gel pens and I like the way she came out. What I like about this, these uh, Jade Summer Kawaii Girls is this is not this grayscale, but even then, based on the lines, you can see where the shading goes, which makes it easier for people like me that have a trouble with it. So um, I did this girl here, and then I did this one with, I think this one was the Prismacolor, yeah. And I used three different colors for the skin. Um, I'm trying to figure out a way for me to do skin with pencils that doesn't take layering five different colors, five, you know, lightly and then lightly and then a little harder. And I'll just, it, I, I don't have the patience for it really. So, I did her and I'm, I'm pretty happy with the way she came out. It's not perfect, but I don't think I'm ever going to be one of these people that get 100% realistic uh, skin tones and I don't really want to be. I'm just want to get something that is, you know, as realistic as I can get it. Um, I did blending on the three different colors on the leaves and I like the way she came out all in all. A little bit of glitter on her eyes. And then this one, I used polychromos, and I love the way she came out. Um, I think she came out a little bit better than the one previous. Um, I blended almost everything. Um, I'm using like three colors to blend most of the items. And um, I'm thinking that that's the way I'm going to do it. It doesn't take a lot of time and I don't get uh, too impatient with it I like the way the Sun came out and all in all I really love the way she came out pretty good then I did Zen doodle color by number spring awakening by Deborah Muller 
I did this picture of the bunny. Um, I did not follow 100% the color palette that they had. Uh, I used the Blick markers. I didn't have, you know, every color that I needed. So I kind of went uh, rogue a little bit. <laughs> I still like the way it came out. Um, so that's it. That is Spring Awakening by Deborah Muller. And the last book for the month is World Within Worlds by Kirby Rosanis. The first one that I did was not that one. Was this one here. I did this skull. Um, I have a tendency to skip the water pages because I'm not that great at coloring water, but I just went for it and I really like the way it came out. I decided, I started doing it one method where I was coloring all of the water a certain color and then highlighting it with uh, Posca. But then I decided, I, as I was coloring this section, I liked the way it looked, just leaving it white better. And that's what I did. And I think it came out really well. Um, I used Brute Funer pencils for these and the Jot glitter gel pen for the flag. So yeah, like the way that came out. Then we have this one here, the monkey. I used Polychromos and Mungil Chalk Pastel for this. And when I was getting ready to do the temple, the ruins of the temple, I was asking my husband what he thought about the color. And he says, why don't I do it like a greenish color like it had been covered in moss and I like that idea so I went ahead and did that I used uh, the greens and then I used a little bit of this color mixed in with it and I think it came out really well and then I did the same thing with this one I used the um, polychromos and then uh, the mungio chalk background and I did him in black black and grays and then this uh, ruins here I did in like a yellowish goldish color to represent the the pyramids in Egypt the blue eyes so that was that picture and then I went back and did the um, monkey for the the title page um i used eyeshadow background and then for this one i used black widow pencils and honestly i just used uh green and gold i kind of did all the faces in gold and the rest in kind of shades of green i did not take the, the as much time with this one as i did the other one and i still love the way it came out in fact, I almost like the way this one came out better than the other one because I like the way that the um, gold faces in the ruins stand out. So that was it. That's the last page I have to show you today. Thank you so much for sticking by and watching the video. I'm really glad you showed up today. Thank you so much. Um, I hope you have a great and happy and safe upcoming week. We'll see you next time. Live long in color. Bye-bye.